Hey guys, and welcome to the... Hold on a second. So I should have silenced this thing. Er, put it on vibrate. Whatever, it's on vibrate. It's an unknown caller. Check it out. Hello? Who's this? You called me, dude. What you do, man? I'm filming a video for my YouTube channel, which you are kind of interrupting. YouTube? Do you know Blu-ray Dan? Or Absolute Sublime 1? I really like their lighting setups. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I... Who are you? Uh... That's not important. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, you know... I always liked the Scream series. I, I really thought it was terrifying that anybody could have been the killer. You know, that, that was actually really cool. Oh, well, that's actually some of my best work. Your ghost face. No, uh... Well, I guess I'm gonna have to kill you now. Justice! Wrong movie, bitch! No! Hey guys, and welcome to a spooky Halloween-themed summit. Yeah, I decided to do decorations. God! Yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> But I decided to do decorations. I got some candles, got a pumpkin, got some cobweb, cobweb, cobweb webs, cobwebs, and welcome to my Wes Craven tribute video. Yeah, I dressed up for the video just to pay respects to the man, the legend, Wes Craven. And I hope you guys loved my uh, skit at the beginning of the video. Um, yeah, I played all the parts. I was Ghostface, obviously. I was Freddy and myself. Two different versions of myself, and yeah, it got weird, but you know, it gets weird on this channel. So let's just get into this video, guys. I remember always loving movies of all kinds, and when I was a kid, I really liked horror movies. And then when I got as in, into a teenager, I really liked horror movies. And one of the directors that always stood out to me was Wes Craven, purely for his style. I, I just loved his movies. It, it, they're always so well directed. I really loved everything of his. I really want the Nightmare on Elm Street collection, but it's just hard, you know, it's just hard to get everything that I possibly want because I just don't have the money for all that shit. But this is kind of like a tribute video. This is, I'm going to talk about some of the movies that I really like from him, too, in particular, and the first one is Nightmare on Elm Street. I love this movie. I love Nightmare on Elm Street. It's just... It, it was groundbreaking. Uh, 1984 is when this movie came out. With the combination of Robert Englund is one of the most awesome, you know, serial killer. It, what he eventually became throughout the series is a serial killer, but uh, one of the most groundbreaking slashers. He actually had a personality. Before this, we had Jason and Michael, and really all they did was just stab people. He had a personality. They gave a, you know, they gave a psychotic killer a mouth. And he used it a lot. The way that Wes Craven envisioned it that, you know, he could kill you any way he possibly wanted to do because he killed you in your sleep. And that's just, that's just terrifying, guys. That's just, I don't even know. Like, I would probably be, like, strangled by Batman in my sleep. I don't know. It, it would happen. Like, it would get really weird really quick. But everybody knows what happened. It spawned a lot of sequels and a remake. Now, everyone says that the remake sucks and blah, 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 blah. I think, like, separate from the series, like, if Nightmare on Elm Street never existed and they made Nightmare on Elm Street today, it would be a solid horror movie. I really did like some of the scares in the movie. Jackie Earl Haley as Freddy, he tried. And they picked the perfect guy to do it. He tried so hard to pay respect to the original Freddy, to Robert Englund, and I actually really liked his performance. When the guy's like, oh god, oh god, and he's like, no god, just me. That is fucking terrifying, guys. But this kind of set the standard. It really did set the standard for back in the day. It's just one of my favorite horror movies, and you guys know, Nightmare on Elm Street. What's your favorite scary movie? Scream. Five film set, and it's not a five film set. It's actually three movies, the three original movies, and two documentaries. Which, the documentaries on this are really awesome, so go ahead. If you don't have this, go ahead and pick it out because it's really good and I loved both the documentaries on here. Uh, and also Scream 4. 1996, this film is 20 years old, uh, the original uh, Scream. I just remember watching this as a kid. Uh, a young kid, maybe like 
10 years old. It was the first time I ever saw Scream. And I really, really did love the movie. They say that Matthew Lillard's character was the killer. Billy Loomis was the one behind everything. Obviously, he was the one behind everything. If you watch it, Billy's the killer. Billy convinced him to come to his side and start killing. If you watch the movie as many times as I have, you'll definitely see that. I liked Scream 2, you know, the whole trying to make fun of sequels. The third one was okay, and the fourth one had a lot of potential. They were making fun of remakes. That's the way the trailer made you think. They only played up that aspect a couple times in the movie. It could have been better. I'd like to see a director's cut version of Scream 4, because maybe they changed it up a little bit. I'm not sure. Maybe someday there will be a director's cut version. Who knows? One of the last films by, by the man, by the legend. Just the fact that the killer could be anyone. The killer could be anyone. Not only did he take horror and redefine it once with Freddy. You know, they gave a psychopathic killer a mouth and he could kill you in your dreams. He did it again in 1996. You know, we didn't really have that iconic killer anymore. And here comes Ghostface, man. He comes out of nowhere. He can be anybody. That's just terrifying. You know what I'm saying? You take that mask off and it could be your best friend. That's fucking scary. People, people say that the first one is the best, and I will agree with them. I love the first one. The first one is probably my favorite movie of all time. Just saying, Scream is probably my favorite movie ever. I guess I need to check out the MTV TV series because I actually heard it was kind of good. So, I want to check it out. I don't like the mask, but, you know, whatever. They're going to change things. Hopefully it gets a second season. Uh, I'm definitely going to check it out. But, uh, Scream, yeah, really awesome series. Okay, guys, uh, I guess uh, that's it for my Wes Craven tribute video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you liked my opinion on those movies. And let me know what your favorite Wes Craven movie is, because there's tons of them that I don't have. Like, I was trying to pick up Curse the other day. I'm going to get Last House on the Left. I really want that one. I saw it at the Dragon the other day. And you know my Blu-ray buying ass is going to go get it. So let me know, what's your favorite Wes Craven movie? And that's not all. Make sure you stick around on my channel because I'm going to do a full horror movie collection video. That will be my next video on this channel. And I hope you guys check it out. Give this video a like. Give it a share. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because you know I have them. And most importantly, this has been Zack vs. the Blu-ray Mountain. Stay metal, my friends. What's your favorite scary movie?